Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a kind of a spin-off of the video that I did, I don't know, by the time this goes up, if it was last week, week before last, but the makeup that I would buy first if for some reason I lost my entire collection. And I had asked in that video if y'all wanted me to do like a skincare version of that, and many of you said yes. And there was one comment that said, please do one showing the four products that you would buy first. And I was like, I don't, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> like, I don't think I can do that. My skincare routines are a little, a lot multifaceted. There's a lot of layers. There's a lot of steps because that is how I choose to do it. It's also part of my job to test products, see how they work out together, see how they don't work out together. But I've always just been someone who loves trying new things. So I tend to have a little bit more steps than you even need or that most people would even want to do. All of that to say is that I did not pick just four products, but I did pare it down immensely from what I currently do and really only have a few steps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I would purchase for an AM routine right off the bat and what I would purchase for a PM routine. And then there's a couple of products that overlap both routines. So in essence, if someone's like a minimalist, this is kind of what I would suggest. You could probably even take out a step, but this would be my most minimal routine for both morning and night, where I feel like my skin would still consistently stay as it is right now, even though I'm using less products. So for the morning, I am personally someone who cleanses their face in the morning. There are going to be many different fields of thought of this, whether you just need water splashed on your face, whether you need to wash your face, whether you don't need to do anything, whether all you need to do is use a micellar water. I have seen so many opinions on this and truly that's really all it is. It's an opinion. It is what you choose to do and what your skin likes the best. I have tried not using a cleanser in the morning and just splashing my face with water. And honestly, I feel like my skin looks better when I cleanse. So this is one of the products that would not only make it for my AM, but also my PM. So it was, it's really the only cleanser that I would purchase right away. And it's the Definage One Step Multi Cleanse. I've talked about how much I like this. You can see I'm more than halfway done with this. This is a gel consistently, consistently, <laughs> consistency cleanser. I spoke about in my video on Definage where this even could work as a double cleanse and I am not having a separate cleansing oil. Now, let me say, I have found my new favorite cleansing oil. I will be talking about that soon. But for the sake of this video and saying, okay, am I really going to worry about getting a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm right off the bat? No, because this can serve as both. And it's just a fabulous cleanser. I love it a lot. I put it on dry skin, even in the morning, even when I'm not using it as like a makeup remover. And then, you know, rub it in for a little bit and then wash it off after getting it wet and rubbing it in just a little bit more. It's just a great cleanser. Love it, love it, love it. And because I love it so much and because it also can serve the two steps for a double cleanse, it would be the first that I chose. Now after that, is going to come like a toner, but really in my toner step recently, I have been using an essence and I have so many favorite <laughs> essences. I have probably three or four that I rotate through the most, but the one that I go to time and time again and have repurchased the most is the Dr. Circle Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. Now, if you are truly a minimalist, you are going to skip this step. But I like this step not only because it feels good, it's super moisturizing, but it gives that moisturized base that I truly feel like allows all the serums that you're putting on after it to sink into the best of their ability. So I would purchase an essence right off the bat, and this would probably be the one that I chose. There are lots of good ones, lots of ones that I like, but this is a, you can see it's a biphase essence, and then you shake it up and it turns into just this milky white, still thin, but has enough viscosity where you feel like it's doing something, but you could also layer upon layer upon layer of this, depending on how much hydration your skin needs. 
Love it so much. And again, it's it's a step that I don't want to be without. Now I am only going to be purchasing one serum for the morning. Truly, it's the one that I feel like is most important. And when I talk about my moisturizer, you're gonna realize I'm getting so much from my moisturizer that I don't need more than one serum. And it's a vitamin C. And I have talked about vitamin C for years and years and years. Is it the only antioxidant on the market that works? Absolutely not. Do I think you have to have a vitamin C? No, there are other great antioxidants, but I do feel like vitamin C works so well in conjunction with your SPF. They both help each other work to the best of their ability. It's a very strong antioxidant to help you fight those environmental aggressors. Just keep your skin healthy from all the pollution that is in our world today. I have three vitamin C serums that I like. It, I would be hard pressed to decide which one I would buy. So for this step, I'm not necessarily going to say this is the product I would buy. I'm saying this is the category that I would buy. So the only serum for the morning would be a vitamin C. My three favorites at the moment are going to be the OG most used vitamin C in my history of using vitamin Cs. And that is the Truth Treatment Systems Transdermal C Serum. Talked about this so much. I love it. It's great. It's a tetrahexaical exorbate form of vitamin C, which is a derivative of the purest form of L-exorbic acid. I feel like the tetrahexaical exorbate is something that works the best on my skin. I am gonna talk about one that has the LAA and out of all of the L-exorbic acid serums, that one is my favorite. But this is the one that's most used. It's tried and true. I go back to it all the time. It's fabulous. Another tetrahexdecal exorbate, I'm just gonna say THD. Another THD serum that I have recently started using, although you'll be able to see, I'm down to right here, so I've used a good bit, is the Medicaid C Tetra Lux. This is a lipid vitamin C enhanced radiant serum. It also has vitamin E, vitamin F, red ginseng. They also have a C Tetra that's not Lux, and I believe it has a lower percentage of the THD and it doesn't have as many ingredients. So it's it's the best if you are introducing vitamin C into your routine for the very first time. But I want the most of the most, so the Lux is where I chose to go, and it's great. Medicaid's one of my favorite brands for skincare, and I've really been enjoying this. It is an oil-based serum, but it sinks in really nicely. It leaves a very nice, natural glow. These are all oil-based serums. And then this one is from Allies of Skin. It's the 35% Vitamin C and Perfecting Serum. This has 25% of ethylated L-exorbic acid, so it's a more stabilized form. And then it also has 10% of the THD. It's superoxide dismutase and glutathione, so lots of good things in this. In fact, I guess if I had to say, okay, which one am I going to choose out of these three, it might actually be this one to start because it does have so many good additives to it and it has both forms of vitamin C. I've had no irritation with this. It's fabulous. Again, it's a waterless serum. So I do mix it with some kind of spray, but it sinks in nicely. Out of all the L-exorbic acid serums that I have tried in the past, this is probably my favorite. Now for the moisturizer, this is going to be something that you'll also be able to tell, okay, this is why I really only need a vitamin C and I'm not even adding an eye cream in this because I have used this moisturizer as an eye cream and I really like it. I can't say that for all moisturizers, but I'm saying that for this. And this is also from Allies of Skin and it's the Peptides and Antioxidants Firming Daily Treatment. I am about to have to cut this open because I maybe have two uses left in this one, but I have a backup, so no, wor no worries about that. But this has seven brighteners, eight antioxidants, and seven peptides in it. So basically, it's an all-in-one treatment. In fact, there may come a time where, well, there is gonna be a, a, like an overnight trip that I take in a couple of weeks, and I will probably only take this for my morning routine. I will cleanse, tone, stick this on as my moisturizer, eye cream, and serum, because it's got so many good ingredients, SPF, and I'm good to go. It just is an all-in-one powerhouse, but it sinks in, it's not heavy. You don't need that much. It's, it's a beautiful moisturizer and currently one of my very favorites. And it's just one that, again, you don't need much else with it. So all of those reasons are why I would choose this as my moisturizer slash eye cream. And then the only other thing that you need in the morning, can you guess, can you guess the most important thing? SPF. Y'all, I don't even care if you cut the moisturizer step out, okay? And just get 
a cleanser, a toner, and an SPF. That's fine, as long as you have the SPF. Now, I am going to be doing an SPF video very soon where I talk about a plethora of SPFs that I'm trying out right now, like a lot, and I'm ranking them. I'm trying a different one every day. I'm taking lots of notes, so be on the lookout for that. But when I really looked at all of them and thought, okay, on a daily basis, what do I need? This is what I chose. And it's probably gonna be one y'all already could guess, the L to MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44. Lots of reasons why I chose this. One, it's tinted. So if there is a day where I don't wanna wear makeup, it's not tinted so much. It's, actually, it's less tinted than some of the other SPFs that I have. So it doesn't really act as a foundation for me, but it does even out my skin tone. It really reduces the redness and it makes me feel comfortable walking out without any makeup on because again, I have that evening of the skin tone. It warms it up a little bit without making it look orange. Two, it's water resistant. I have a lot of sunscreens that I love that aren't water resistant. And if I'm only going to have one, I want something that is going to be good under makeup, but also water resistant so that I can take it with me to the beach and the pool or on a hot, sweaty day, and I don't have to worry about it coming off too quickly. And was there a three? No, it's just a really good sunscreen. Out of all the sunscreens that I have, it's the one that I've repurchased the most. I don't even know how many tubes I have used of this. It's fabulous, and definitely, because of all the things that I listed, the one that I would buy first. So again, in the morning, recap, cleanse, essence, vitamin C, moisturizer, and SPF. So five steps, which could easily be put down to three if you wanted to get rid of the vitamin C or get rid of the essence and use the vitamin C and skip the moisturizer or even two. If you are someone who just can't stand the feeling of products on your skin, cleanse that face and stick on an SPF. Don't forget your under eyes, your eyelids, everywhere, your ears, your neck, everywhere that sees the sun and that is a minimal routine. The five steps is actually very minimal for me. <laughs> okay, so PM, and I already talked about the cleanser. I would use this for my double cleanse. And then I'm going to be using two types of serums or products every night. And the first step is going to be one of two things. And I definitely would purchase both of these because I feel like it's something that needs to be done for my skin. I would say first and foremost, I'm going to repurchase some kind of retinoid. And I have two that I recommend and love a lot. I'm trying out another one. I just can't talk about it because it doesn't come out until the end of the year. But trust, I will talk about it. The first one is a retinaldehyde. And this is again, Medicaid. And again, one that I have talked about so many times. This is the Crystal, Crystal Retinol and retinal, excuse me, and this is in the 10 version. Once I get done with this, I will go up to 20, but this is, I believe, the fourth tube that I have used of this, and it's fabulous. If you don't know, retinal is one step down from tretinoin, one step up from retinol. To me, it is less irritating than even some retinols. There are some medical grade or over-the-counter retinols that I've used in the past where I peel more with those than I do even with a tret, but especially with this. So this is the least irritating form of a retinoic acid that I have ever used in the form of retinaldehyde. There's lots of other good ingredients in this and it is a very sophisticated formula in my opinion. Are there cheaper retinols on the market? Yes. Have I tried some of them? Yes. Are they good? Yes, but this is still my favorite. So Medicaid Crystal Retinol, and again, they have different levels. So it starts at 1, 3, 6, 10, and 20. 10 is a 0.1% retinal, retinaldehyde, and the 20 is a 0.2, which again is what I would be going up to next because I've had no irritation. It would either be that or my tretinoin. And this is the Curology prescription. Oh, look, it matches my shirt. I've talked about this a lot. Um, I'm currently kind of taking a break. I say I'm taking a break. Last night, I mixed this in with my moisturizer for the first time in like probably a month. And I might do that like once a week because this is the gold standard, but it does cause me to peel every once in a while. And there typically is like one day a week where my skin is just not looking the best. And I wanted to take a break from that so that I could have seven days a week where I felt like my skin was looking decent. But again, gold standard, most researched anti-aging ingredient on the market, hands down. I mean, years and years, decades, decades of research behind this ingredient of tretinoin. And Curology is a wonderful place to start if you don't know where to get it. So I will have that link down below. So 
I'm going to cleanse. I will use that same essence. I will use some kind of retinoic acid. Then I will use a moisturizer and eye cream in the same form of the Allies of Skin. And the only other product that I would most definitely repurchase is my last step of my skincare routine at night. And it is my Definage 8-in-1 Bio Serum. I just did a full video of this, so I will link it up in a card so you can see why I love it so much. But this is the very last step after moisturizer. I use it all over my face, all up under my eyes, and I absolutely love it. So while it's not a necessity, to me it is. It has become one in the three plus months that I have been using it again, and it would definitely be purchased. So again, five steps in my nighttime routine. Now the only thing extra that I would buy is for the nights when I don't use a retinol or a retinol or a tretinoin, and that's two nights a week where I exfoliate my skin. My favorite exfoliator is the Dr. Dennis Gross Peel Pads. This is the uni Universal Daily Peel. I used to could only use the sensitive, but my skin has become much stronger and more resilient. And so now I use the regular Universal Daily Peel. And this is not daily in my opinion. I think personally, at least for me, that's way too much exfoliation. So twice a week, I will not use a retinol of any kind and I will use this instead and my skin loves it. I've gone through multiple boxes. I am low on this box so I need to go ahead and buy a backup but it just, it's something exfoliation wise that my skin has really, really, really enjoyed and I feel like it makes a big difference on keeping it from looking dull and keeping it bright and glowy and the healthiest that it can be. So six different products but five different steps because I will change it up a couple of days a week. And that is it. That is very, y'all, that is very pared down for me. <laughs> Four products would be very hard, but if I had to say, mm, if I had to say SPF, I mean, most important, hands down. If you do not use SPF, all of this other stuff is worthless, in my opinion. It's worthless. It is not doing for your skin what it is meant to do if you are going out in the sun without protecting your skin. If you don't agree with that, well, then I think you're wrong. <laughs> I'm um, just to, to put it as bluntly as possible. SPF number one, retinol number two, the moisturizer number three, and a good cleanser number four. Those are the four things out of all the ones that I've talked about that I would repurchase. These four right here. SPF cleanser, moisturizer, and retinol. Retinol. Retinol to hide. So for the person who asked for the four, hopefully that was helpful. For everybody else who wanted to know what I would purchase first, hopefully the whole video was helpful. I'll have everything listed and linked down below with any discount codes that may be affiliated with them. So be sure and check that out. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.